But it was illegal to improvise in England at the time. How is this possible? Illegal. 200 years of, oh, England, the you know, freedom and all that. <laughs> yeah, so crap. English are heavily censored still, but there was a special censorship for theater because theater is instant. You can, you can, you can you have living newspapers. You can, you can make political statements from the stage. They're on to us. Yeah, you, is the minute yeah. you said that, the siren yes, started. Yes, I know. They're on to us. <laughs> they know. You're not Canadian. You're speaking of illegal That's improvisation right. That's in the right. 1960s. <laughs> I think it was about 200 years. Of censorship in the theater in England. A special censorship. If you had a script, you had to take it to the censor that yes. went through it. A any special move you made, any significant move. Joan Nittlewood, who was a wonderful director, was prosecuted. What? Because somebody imitated Churchill's voice, and you weren't allowed to imitate politicians. You couldn't, you couldn't put Hitler on the stage and make fun of him, because he was the head of a government. And you would, would you go to prison? You could Will you get fined? Technically, or? you would have gone to prison once. Wow. But in those days, they would fine you. Uh, somebody was, yeah, and somebody walked across the stage carrying a plank at a phallic angle. Big uh, fines. Big, uh, I, don't, I don't think it was. By that time, the royal family did not want to be involved in this. And it was the Lord Chamberlain, an official of the royal family, who was given the job of reading all the scripts. Even comedian scripts had to be seen by the censor. Mm -hmm.